All right, so hey guys, so welcome to another Warframe video, and today I'm going to show you where and how to get a different Argan mod so you can put together a basic build to take on the Profit Taker. And by basic build, I mean this. This is more than enough to take on the Profit Taker with any of the Argan. So we have Rubido Line Barrel for the damage, Dual Rounds for Multi Shot, then Parallax Go for a crit chance, Hollowed Bullets for crit damage, and then Electrified Barrel combined with Combustion Rounds for radiation, and Polar Magazine for cold. And the final slot is up to you, you don't even have to put anything in there. This, as I've said already, is more than enough to kill the Profit Taker with any of the Argan, so you can put an automatic trigger for some fire rate or magazine extension so you have more ammo, or as you kill the Profit Taker, you're gonna drop some fancier mods so you can put them there as well. Now, you can actually farm all the Argan mods in just three missions. The first one is Kylus, which is a Grenier Interception on Uranus. The second mission is Salacia, which is a Corpus Mobile Defense on Neptune. And finally, the third sort of mission is in the Plains of Eidolon, where you're going to be doing incursions. And I think the best way to show you where you get different mods is to actually use my own nodes that I created for this video. So here we have the three different missions, Salastia, Plains of Eidolon and Kylus, and you can see what kind of mods from the basic build they drop, and you can also see that they overlap quite a bit. You can also see some stuff written in brackets, so if it's just a drop, it means it has about a 2% chance to drop, if it's a low drop chance, it has like 0.5% chance to drop, and if it's reward, it's a reward from the mission. And finally, you can also see that I sort of highlighted each mod once by putting stars next to it, and that simply means that that is the best location for farming that mod. So for example, even though we can get Rubido Line Barrel everywhere, the best place to farm it is Salacia on Neptune. So very simply, if you want to farm Rubido Line Barrel, you want to go to Salacia on Neptune. If you want to farm the elemental mods, whether it be Electrified Barrel, Combustion Rounds, or Polar Magazine, you want to go to the Plains of Eidolon. And if you want to get Dual Rounds, Parallax Scope, or Hollowed Bullets, you want to go to Kaleos on Uranus. And the best setup for farming in Arcwing missions, in my opinion, would be the Itzel Arcwing, which has a bling that teleports you forward, and a Cosmic Crash ability, which will vacuum everything to you, so it's great for picking up stuff, and the Fluctus, for its absolutely mad AoE. Now, both the Arcwing missions are pretty straightforward. You simply want to jump in and play the mission like you normally would, and hope that you get some teammates so that more enemies spawn, and you want to pick up everything you see. You won't have to do Salacia too many times because it's fairly popular for leveling Arcwing stuff, so you will most likely get a teammate so more enemies will spawn, and you can sometimes end up with like three Rubido lined barrels after just one run. The most painful one by far is going to be Kyla's because while you can get all three of the mods as either a drop from an enemy or as a reward after each round, it's not that great, so it will probably take you a while to get Hollowed Bullets, Parallax Scope and Dual Rounds here. So just keep at it, there's probably going to be more people farming here, so you will get some teammates and it will eventually happen. And the most sort of confusing one, though it's not too bad, is in the Plains of Eidolon. So what you need to do is go to Konzu and do the fifth bounty. Now, there are two ways you can do this, and the choice is yours. So you can either just go ahead and finish the bounty and get yourself some goodies in the process, or you can intentionally fail the bounty if you really don't want to do it, which will still keep the planes at its maximum level, which means it will spawn the highest tier of incursion. Which is exactly what you want, because you can only get the elemental mods for our guns from the final tier of incursions. Once you finish the bounty, you can kind of do whatever you want while you wait for the incursions to start popping in, so you can do a little bit of mining, hunt some Seater's Wisps, do fishing, or even just all tap and browse memes. But you ideally don't want to miss any of the incursions, because if you keep ignoring them, they will stop popping up. And that's pretty much it, you just want to keep doing incursions until you get all three of the mods, which in this case are the Electrified Barrel mod for the electricity damage, Combustion Rounds for the heat damage, and Polar Magazine for the cold damage. Also, make sure that you go into the planes during the day, ideally in the morning, because the incursions don't happen at night. So if you go there right before it hits night time, you're just gonna do the bounty and then while the Eidolons come out and you don't get any incursions. And this really shouldn't take you that long, because all the elemental mods for our guns are in the common bracket, so you should get them pretty fast. And that's pretty much all I have to say here, so I thank you very much for watching. As always, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video and it was helpful. I wish you good luck when farming the different Argan mods, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.